welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a will it fit with H&M because it was so highly requested. Um, I didn't wanna do it initially really because in my brain it was like, duh, it'll fit, you know? Cause H&M has plus sizes. But then, I don't know, you let me know if it's happened at your H&M because I have gone to three around here and they all removed the plus sizes from their store. Like a bunch of them remodeled and then removed it and then some stayed the same but they just completely took away that section because H&M has men's clothes, women's clothes, they have maternity clothes, they have baby clothes, they have little kid clothes, they have big clothes and then clothes <laughs> and then they have like big kid clothes and then they have plus size clothes. Now I've shopped for men's stuff there. I have never shopped for maternity stuff, but I have shopped for babies, for little kids, and for big kids, because um, we've been shopping there for years and years. And um, I will say that hands down, their plus size section was the weakest with the worst designs, and I felt like it had the least amount of thought put into it. Um, it's almost as though they did it because they felt like they had to, but the clothes themselves, I, they're all just like, terrible <laughs> not all of them all of them i guess but i struggled every single time to find anything that i thought was actually like i don't know of this century like everything was so loose and baggy and cut so funky and it's like they always put it in the dimmest darkest worst spot in the store and it was just not as super friendly but at least it was there right so i went into all these h&ms the other day looking for it because i was going to do this video and show you boom it'll fit um but i had a terribly hard time finding it and then the employee let me know they were actually getting rid of it so at one store i found a couple of things so i am going to show you something from the actual plus size um side otherwise i'm going to be showing you stuff from the actual clothing that you can walk into the store and buy which is going to be from the straight size side so we'll start with some basics i've been shopping h&m for years like i said so there are plenty of things that i know and love like you know i can buy this thing there that thing there i used to get my leggings there all the time um but they're really really thin so i would recommend it if you don't you're not going to overstretch them basically but i was going to stretch the hell out of them so they typically go up to a size large a lot of their stuff not a lot there's a fair amount of it that will go up to an extra large and a lot of times on the actual tag it'll have what the other sizes are that are available this one doesn't have it so this one just says that it's you know a large and it has the price or whatever um, but a lot of times it'll be like it'll bold what size it is so it'll say like extra small small medium large extra large and it'll bold the medium if it's a medium or whatever but that's nice because then you know that there's actually a possibility that there's an extra large or whatever but um as far as i know they don't do 2x or anything like that so i got this shirt from h&m i wear these a lot in the summertime it is a cropped kind of like top it's like five bucks um i buy these like i said i have i have a bunch of them this isn't a size large because they do have oversized stuff this was only 4.99 they have a lot of like burnout oversized stuff they have a lot of tanks they have a ton of basics so if you can get into a large or an extra large and something basic something that's not necessarily the whole outfit in the summertime i do wear this with bralettes and like high-waisted jeans or um denim shorts or whatever um but at home i will wear it just you know around the house with something like this so these are just uh, these are just booty shorts really they're just stretchy like booty shorts so i wear these around the house when it's not freezing outside because <laughs> right now it's so cold i have to have like a full sweatsuit on in this house um and i mean they fit me like booty shorts they're not something i would wear out of the house they have pockets which is nice and then outside of that like yeah they're pretty short i mean they're booty shorts so uh, this stuff is easy to fit into if you want something like sometimes I want some booty shorts and I can't go to like um, Like Torrid I can't go to like a plus size brand and get them because they don't make them <laughs> Like or they just don't make them right or whatever. So I like the stuff that'll go up high on my waist Yes, you can see like the outline of my crotch. Yes, the bottom of my butt cheek is gonna hang out but that's kind of the point i don't wear them out and about so this is actually like the same pair i probably have they have so many different ones like a ton um i probably have like 10 pairs of these basically they're super comfortable they're just sweatpant material and they're really um like a decent price so these were 12.99 and i get mine in a large as far as i know these don't go past a large 
do they? I don't know. Sometimes they have them on sale and stuff. I had a 20% off coupon when I was shopping, actually, which was really nice. But like I said, as far as basics go, they have a good selection and stuff. They have a ton of different colors. They have basic t-shirts. They have basic, like, long sleeve shirts and whatever, like... Sometimes you just need basics. I usually go to Old Navy, but they are a little bit more expensive at Old Navy unless they're on the sale. Um, but they do have like a wider selection of sizes there. So it just all depends on what I'm looking for. But stuff like this, especially summertime stuff, I tend to go to H&M a lot. Plus they have stuff for the whole family. So the vibe inside the actual store, I don't ever feel like I don't belong there because I could be there shopping for myself. I could be there shopping for their like accessories and stuff, bags, shoes, um, jewelry. They have so much stuff in there. Or I could be there shopping for my kids. Like I like that it's kind of a place where I can go for the whole family. The vibe there is just a little bit more welcoming than when I walk into like PacSun where they're like, we know your big ass don't fit in here. <laughs> Okay, but my money fits in your cash register, so shut your mouth. I really don't like the vibe I get in PacSun. I really, 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 really don't like the vibe I get when I'm in there. I really don't like it. Or Hollister or whatever. Like, you know, those stores do have a different vibe to them, but H&M, I always feel like, I'm welcome. I'm welcome. Next up, let's do the denim. They do have a wide denim selection there in terms of different cuts and styles. Um, as far as the sizing goes, the regular ones, I, I can't get into them. I mean, I was looking for like a 15 to attempt to squeeze into, you know what I mean? Um, but I couldn't even find that. And so I did end up getting their plus denim. But like I said, they do, if you wanted to shop online or whatever, the stuff is still available online. So these are their H&M Plus Skinny um, regular waist, I think they're like a curvy fit, shaping, um, denim. So these are not cheap. Uh, these were $49.99 for a U.S. Uh, size 16. They are fairly stretchy, but let's put them on and see how they actually look. All right, I mean, I gotta give it to them. These are some pretty comfortable jeans. I think they are more of a mid-rise because usually a high-rise one comes up to this little spot here on me so i'm about an inch away on the sides about two inches away on uh the front here but they're they're pretty comfortable the waist itself also has stretch in it you don't always find that with jeans sometimes they're super tight on top even though the rest of it is like basically wearing leggings these are very um stretchy super comfortable i think my butt looks good as good as my butt looks in jeans um, I know a lot of people don't like the spaced out pockets. I don't think these ones are not like crazy spaced out. I don't mind it though. A lot of people think that it makes your butt look bad or something, but I think it looks okay. <laughs> um, they're pretty skinny though. They're really, really stretchy like I said. And they have a couple of extra inches on the bottom. But since they're so tapered, I don't mind it. I know it'll still look good uh, with boots, with heels, with whatever. So these are some nice jeans. The wash is also pretty nice. Like these are, these are unexpectedly good fitting jeans. And like I said, these came from the plus size side. So I was expecting to be disappointed. All right, so let's move back into like the regular size H&M, the stuff that you can actually walk in there and find right now. This hoodie I found in an XL and I have quite a few hoodies from them that run big dude they run big my favorite hoodie from them is like this red one with like a flag on it i've worn it a bazillion times it runs so big i have a large and it's just like i'm swimming in it and i love it so hoodies you can definitely find i didn't buy any more because i'm trying to show you stuff that you're like might be on the fence about so this is like a females fitted hoodie and this i got in an xl um i don't like fitted hoodies period I don't think I'm the girl for them. Also, this one is uh, cropped, but I thought I would show it to you. It fits, it's, like I said, it's cropped, so um, I would definitely wear like a little t-shirt or something under it. I'd probably tuck it in, just in case uh, the hoodie itself goes up. Anyway, it's cute and it fits, you know, I'm not like squeezing my arms into it or whatever. And like I said, it's a cropped hoodie, so it stops pretty much right there, right above my butt. Um, and it fits, it's not really tight or anything around here. But like I said, I got this in an XL because some of their stuff goes to XL, <laughs> some of their stuff doesn't. And back in the day, they did used to put it on the tag like all the time. And I was kind of like, will they or won't they? Who knows? And this hoodie was only $19.99, which is not bad. And my big like oversized, super comfortable one that I wear all the time, um, 
I want to say that one was like $24.99. So the prices are not terrible. Plus, I think if you recycle your clothes there, like if you give them clothes, they give you a coupon that you can use like the next time you come in. I think it's like 15% off. I had a 20% off one when I was shopping the other day, but they just mailed it to me. I don't know what it was for, but um, you can pretty much always get a 15% off one. I think it's 15%. Next I have this sweater and they have so many sweaters. I could have bought 20 sweaters to show you guys, but I only needed one to prove this little fact to you. H&M sells very oversized sweaters. They're all oversized. This is a large, I'm swimming in it. I mean, it's great. It's long in the back, like it covers pretty much my whole butt. It's very comfortable. This I'm almost positive is only, um, I think it's a large. And I, I wanna say they might've had an extra large in this one, but this one looked big enough. It was $29.99. And they just have a billion oversized sweaters. Like, I didn't want to oversize sweater you guys to death. <laughs> but um, this one I just thought was cute. I didn't have a pink one, so I picked this one up. But this is just, this is, I mean, you can definitely find some tops in there. Don't be afraid when things say that they're medium or large when they have this type of vanity sizing involved. Now, this was an unexpected purchase. And I got it because the day that we actually went shopping, we ended up going to... I want to, if it wasn't Oak Brook, it was Yorktown. Anyway, one of those like half outdoor kind of malls and I was freezing my butt off. So I happened to have something like navy on and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna find a jacket here because jackets never run big enough in the sleeves for me, like straight size stuff. I mean, that is something that is very challenging for me to find typically. But I went in there and I found this freaking puffer coat and I was beyond shocked when it actually freaking fit. It's so big, like, I have plenty of room in here for my arms. It's obviously, it's a puffy coat. It's not gonna make you look any slimmer or trimmer. Um, but it's, it's so cute. It fits perfectly fine, like, around me too. I mean, putting it around my actual body, it is kind of, it has like a slight crop to it, I feel like. Um, but it does also have this thing on the side so you can adjust how big or uh, small, like, how tight you want it on the bottom. I haven't really adjusted it, but I just thought it was really cute. And it's just navy with like this burgundy sort of, uh, looks kind of red here, but it's pretty burgundy. And it goes all the way around. It's just like a cute little uh, puffer coat. And I got it in an XL because they have it in an XL. And it was $39.99. But like I said, I got 20% off of that. But hi, apparently you can potentially get some coats at H&M. Thanks for letting me know. I'm excited about that because their coats are a little bit on the cheaper end versus like where I typically buy my coats because I almost always take get them from um, plus size stores and they tend to run much, much steeper at plus size stores. So uh, this is a nice little option to have. Oh, and H&M has some of my favorite cold weather accessories. I get a bunch of hats, I get gloves, I get scarves. And usually they'll be like pretty freaking affordable. So they have really good like cold weather stuff too. And finally, this is not like an outfit that I would wear together just because this has like the red stripe. Would I? No, I wouldn't. Um, but I wanted to show you not only do like the bigger, longer, oversized ones fit, but you can also get like a cropped one like this. This is in a size large. This one was $17.99. I love these ones. I love this brand. I forget what it's called. Like div div Dividend? Divide? Ah! Divided by, by H&M. <laughs> um, I really like this brand. I've bought a lot of sweaters and stuff from them over the years, and typically a large will fit just fine. So this is really cute. I like this. I would wear it with like a high-waisted legging. Oh, maybe I'll wear this on the plane. Oh, that would be kind of cute. I'm not wearing it on the plane because it looks kind of like, it's fun, but it's loose and it's kind of warm, but it's not like too warm. Um, and then I got these leggings. I should have got the basic leggings because those are the one, those are the ones that I used to always buy. I mean, I was, they was like religious, like I would buy H&M leggings forever and ever before I started wearing Tours leggings. Um, but they don't go quite as high. So this one even. These again are more of like a, like a mid-rise. And for my leggings, I like them high. Because when I have, let's say, a crop top, I like for it to only show a little bit of my stomach, not this little, like, pudge right here. It kind of cuts me off in an awkward spot for me personally and what I like to wear. Um, but these are a little bit on the thicker side. Like, they're not crazy stretchy. These ones have a little bit more structure to them, but they're also not my favorite. They have 
you know, a little detail, whatever. They are see-through somewhat. I don't know if you guys can see from back there. I have polka dot panties on, but they are black polka dot. You can definitely see the tag. But like I said, they have good basics. These leggings are extra large. They were $12.99. Um, and you know, you can get a coupon pretty easily for H&M. So their stuff is inexpensive. It might not be the greatest fit if you are plus size, but they do have options in there. If you're in a pinch or if you just wanna try out some different stuff, I like that they have kind of newer, different fashions than a lot of other places because H&M is a global brand. Um, what, where are they actually based from? They're, uh, where's H&M from? Are they German? I don't think they're German. I forget, but um, you know, it's an international brand, so we can all pretty much get our hands on it. Uh, so I like that they have different cuts, they have different styles, it's different than other places, and you don't need to be afraid to go in there if you're plus size. They have stuff that could potentially work for you. Like I said, they have a lot of oversized stuff, um, and if you happen to be at one that still has plus sizes, they have a decent variety of items. It's just not really my style, but those jeans, those are great jeans. I really don't even have anything you know, like any qualms with them. Oh, they're a little bit lower than I would prefer to wear them. Um, but outside of that, they were very comfortable. They probably bleed a little bit because they're on the darker side, but I mean, whose jeans don't bleed? I have $250 jeans that bleed like the dickens. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know who you want to see next and will it fit. I am still bringing you um, Zara. Last time I went in there, I just had such a hard time because there were so many people in there that I, I was like frustrated with the whole experience and I didn't want to put that kind of negativity onto that store because I know that's another international brand and I want to bring more like global brands to you guys <laughs> because I know you're not all in the US. Um, so I will be doing Zara that's still like next top of the list for Will It Fit. But if you have anyone else that I haven't featured yet, let me know down in the comments and I will put them on the list. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you have not and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.